This video is an overview on the use of antipsychotics in the treatment of schizophrenia. Let's see the learning objectives for this video. The first is to classify psychopathological domains and target symptoms in schizophrenia. The second is to describe the role of first and second generation antipsychotics. And the third is to identify goals of treatment and factors that influence antipsychotic choice. Psychotic symptoms can be a feature of a number of conditions, including schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder, mood disorders, dementia, personality disorders, and medical conditions. Antipsychotics are not specific for schizophrenia or anti-schizophrenic. They are effective in many conditions in which psychotic symptoms are present. They don't specifically tr treat underlying illnesses. Schizophrenia has multiple psychopathological dimensions. There are a number of psychopathological models. All of them agree that the core symptoms of schizophrenia include positive, negative and cognitive symptoms. This table reviews some examples in each dimension. Positive symptoms include delusions, hallucinations and thought disorder, among others. Negative symptoms include apathy, social withdrawal, restricted affect, and anhedonia. Cognitive deficits include uh, disturbances of attention, memory, and executive function. Mood symptoms include dysphoria and depression, among others. Some authors include the psychopathological di dimension of agitation and excitement. As you can see, schizophrenia psychopathology is quite complex. We'll see in a minute why negative and cognitive symptoms are relevant to psychopharmacological treatment.